Hi everyone, welcome to BISP Trainings. My name is Faiz Alam and in this session we will be having an overview of the withholding tax. First we will look at the general introduction and then uh, we will look at basic uh, setup for withholding in our NetSuite application. So let's begin. So we should know what is withholding as its uh, name looks like that uh, withholding. So here uh, the term withholding refers to the money that can that an employer deducts from an employee's uh, gross wages and pays directly to the government. This tax is a set of amount of income tax that an employer withholds from the employee's paycheck and the amount that is withheld is a credit against the income tax the employee must pay during the year. So the vast majority of people that uh, who are employed in US uh, are subject to withholding tax and the general and the standard rate for withholding tax in US is 30 percent. And uh, we can take an example here like uh, for a company and an employee uh, if an employee or a company is there so the responsible person for paying the withholding tax would be the company. Uh, it is the company who is the pay agent or the payer who is paying withholding tax not the employee and if that uh, company fails to pay the required tax to the government to the IRS that is internal revenue service who is the responsible uh, tax collecting agency. So if that uh, agent if the company if fails to pay that uh, tax to the government to the IRS so that company would be the responsible person uh, responsible authority uh, who will be a charge for any seizure or for any penalties. In a very simple uh, language I would say that uh, withholding tax is not a tax itself but an advance payment that is used for future tax liability. An employer remit withholding tax directly to the ER, uh, IRS in the employee's name. An employee receives a tax refund or may have to pay the IRS if too much money is withheld. There is an option of reclaim or refund if it is if it happens in future. So. Uh, the purpose of withholding tax is to ensure that employees comfortably pay whatever income tax they owe. Along with that it also fights tax evasion and maintains the pay, pay as you go tax collection system in the US. So the type of uh, US source income there are uh, certain uh, source incomes in US is there that are subject to withholding tax that is FDAP. Uh, it uh, stands for uh, fixed or determinable uh, annual or periodical income. So these are all the gains that are derived from the sale of real or personal property. So an income is fixed when it is paid in amounts. It can be determinal when there is a basis for figuring the amount to be paid and it can also be periodic if it is paid from time to time. So these are the incomes that are uh, that are the these are the basic uh, source of incomes that are subject to withhold. Here we can uh, take an example uh, for the in, uh, withholding like if an employee has an annual salary of $72,000 and uh, his uh, uh, that is for uh, 6000 of which uh, 6000 is this monthly. So is if its employer withhold 30 percent of it that is 1800 uh, from his paycheck and leave uh, 4200 dollars for him as his basic salary. So that 1800 uh, would be coming under the withholding tax that he would be paying to the IRS. And that uh, 1800 also goes to the state federal income tax unemployment and Medicare liability if it is deducted. So uh, this uh, procedure uh, you can see in the picture the employee before giving salary uh, to the employee withhold uh, tax and uh, he is the one who pays uh, the required tax to the government of that particular country. There are also certain exemptions uh, for the employee in US like uh, those employees who are having no tax liability for the previous year and who expect no uh, tax liability for the current year as well can use form W-4 to instruct their employer not to deduct any federal income tax from their uh, wages or their salary. We can also uh, use the withholding uh, tax uh, uh, for the purpose of uh, for any invoices or bills also. So this is about the uh, basic uh, introduction of withholding tax how it is uh, a used and how the employer uh, does uh, how the employer deducts it from the employee's paycheck and further pays it to the government.
so in our netsuite application first uh, there are certain steps that are to be followed uh, while uh, working on withholding while working on with withholding tax so there are certain setups first uh, we have to uh, install the bundle for it if it is not installed in the system uh, right now i am having that but how can we install that by going into customization suite bundler here we have the option of search and install bundle if it is not there so we can search it and install it from here after that uh, after uh, searching and installing the bundle we have to uh, enable certain features so for that we have to go into setup company enable features So under the tax sub tab, we have this option already enabled, and this withholding tax is used for calculating and tracking the withholding tax on the sales and the purchase transactions. Since the withholding tax uh, are used in the business from the purchase side and from the sales side also, so we are done with the enabling features. Now we'll go into the basic setup for withholding. So for that, we'll go into setup withholding tax and setup withholding tax. Here we have to set our preferences. These are the various nexuses, like for which nexus that do we want to uh, create this withholding tax? So if I take this one, so here you can see the nexus has already been defined. This enable lookup transaction is used uh, for updating the uh, sales uh, tax table, and. Uh, Uh, this is the basic preference that is uh, used here if we are uh, checking this available on purchases box so that then uh, withholding tax would be available for us on the pos also and if we want to disable uh, this uh, particular tax on purchase order so we can check this box so if we check this box available on purchases so the tax point on accrual uh, like tax would be applied for under which condition like if it is accrual then it would be applied if we check this uh, if we select this on payment so the uh, with withholding tax will be applied on uh, uh, making the payments so i am uh, usually on accrual is selected and uh, whether we want to apply this withholding tax on the total amount or on the individual line item we can select that also similar thing can be done with the purchases also if we select this available on sales bo um, box so which at, at which point do we want to apply this on payment on or, or on accrual so here i have selected on payment and if uh, we want to apply it on the total amount or individual line amount so we can uh, set our preferences here and after that we can click on save so this is about the uh, setting preferences now we'll go again into setup withholding tax we have to set the withholding tax type so here we have these these types if we click on any of it this wht 1010 this is for us nexus so here we have to define the name for this tax type if any description is required to be given uh, if in a, whatever nexus are we assigning this uh, to this tax type what is the tax uh, sorry what is the base uh, tax base for this withholding tax and these are the two accounts under the tax type we have to select the gl accounts that would be affected like if we are making purchases so what would be the liability account that would be affected we can select from this drop down the required gl accounts that do have impact while we are using a uh, uh, sorry while we are, we are using withholding tax with the purchases similarly we can select an asset account here when we are making sales so we can also select that with this drop down and after this we can click on save so this is about the withholding tax type this is another step then we'll go into set up a uh, withholding tax and tax code so these are the various codes that have been created if we click on new here so the first thing that we have to do for uh, creating tax type and tax code we have to select a nexus first 
here we have to define the tax code the name of the tax code what rate uh, do we apply do we want to apply we can um, define that here like from which date uh, this would be affected until date until uh, which date so we can define the dates here uh, what is the tax agency for uh, this uh, tax code we can define that also here and which withholding tax type is to be taken we can take if as i have not taken any name here so it is uh, showing like this and uh, whether we want to make it available either on purchases or sales or if we want to uh, make it available on both so we can uh, select the required things here if uh, we want to uh, restrict this withholding tax to uh, certain subsidies so we can select it we can also check the include children box here If I click on this withholding tax code 105, so here you can see that this is the code name. Uh, the rate for this uh, particular tax code is 15%. The uh, tax agency is defined here. Tax type is taken here. I have selected here uh, to be available on sales and purchases. These are the subsidies uh, which will be using this ta withholding tax code. And here I have selected the include children. And after this, we can click on save. So these are the basic setups that are required for using withholding tax uh, for the purpose of uh, applying it on to the uh, sales and purchase transactions. So that's all about today. Uh, we'll look at the other aspects of withholding tax in our upcoming sessions. Uh, in case of any doubts and consultations, you can reach out to us at www.bispsolutions.com. Thank you.